Yeah, so I just fought the Paris Open. I uh, got double gold, but um, yeah, it was all good. I submitted all my matches except I fought big safe, big Moroccan guy, and uh, well, fortunately for me, we were tied on points, and uh, I tore his sleeve in half, so he was unable to continue. Some say it was a fluke. I say it was technique. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> Yeah, I feel I feel like it's come full circle now because I I my first worlds I did in 2014 as a blue belt and now I'm there on the weekend now I'm fighting as a black belt. This is what I've always wanted, you know, this is what I've always strived to, to do, to be there. So yeah, I'm very excited. It's cool. It's cool with how it's come full circle now. Uh, well I guess when I feel like when you're the colour belts, it's now, I didn't used to think it before, but now I'm a black belt, I see the colour belts as like the amateur belts, I see it as like amateur, it's like when you box amateur, then you go pro, maybe if it's something like that, but I feel like now I'm at the pro level, so I feel like maybe once when I was a purple brown belt, I was feeling confident, confident, now I'm back at the bottom again, so I've got to work my way back up, but it's exciting, it's good, it's a nice, it's a good challenge, yeah. Attack. Attack. <laughs> Well, um, it's pretty much murderer's row to be honest because now you have to qualify so like, everyone's decent in there, there's no, there's no tourism there now, everyone's there because they want to win, the division's crazy. If I could have any match, like, any would be great, great for me, but to be honest my fa one of my favourite grapplers of all time is Leandro Lowe, that would be the one, if I could pick just a, just a scrap of Leandro Lowe that would be, be like a dream for me. So typical now, especially leading up to the Worlds, and now the summer is a bit easier. I can three days a week. I train at 6 a.m., 11 a.m., and then the evening. Obviously, I'm teaching classes as well, so I'll train three times, uh, three times a week, and then the other two days. So. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, I'll just train at 11 a.m. and uh, the evening. And Saturdays, I just train in the morning. And Sundays, I train in the morning. So I train seven days a week, but different intensities each day. So like, I don't have to have any days off because like Saturday, Sunday will be much more relaxed. It'll be one session, and it'll be much more. I'll be sparring, but it'll be much more me flowing through my techniques and stuff. Like I won't overwork my body, but I just try and get as much mat time as I, as I can. You know, that's it. You want to go here? Look, one. Look, my fist goes here. Oh, weird, eh? Look. It's not here. How did you pick this up? I uh, saw so Keenan did Keen it on YouTube years ago. Let me see. So, so, so that you're here with gear thing, he takes you down, look, boom, and he jumps yeah. to the good side, look, with my hand, and it switch now. Look. Ah, ah, and look, my like, fist is literally in his throat. And he walks to the head, boom. I've seen so many people tell, tell me constantly, oh man, you're so talented, you're so lucky, you're this and that, this and that. Well, I don't know if I am because I, I, out of all my training partners, throughout the years, I'm, I'm, I would say, I'm maybe I'm biased, but I fucking worked the hardest. I was always there. I never missed any sessions. There's, there's a Facebook status that popped up on my like, memories the other day. It was like nine years ago or eight, nine, ten years ago. And it's like Webby actually wrote on my status. So I was like, oh, good day at school or something like that. And he like, wrote on there. And I was like, come to training tonight. Don't be lazy. Us. And I'm just like, I've always been the same. <laughs> you can see like all my, all the, everyone will tell you I'm like super regimented. I always made sure I trained the most. I physically could always. I never took time off. I never, in my whole life, I took two weeks off once. That's it, ever. So I always train. I would say just train hard, be consistent. And um, yeah, just listen to your coach, I guess. Yeah. Thank you.